Hi, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, Delta Green. Now, folks, this game is almost mythical among Call of Cthulhu fans because it was published in a normal run and then it gained a huge following and then it sort of it didn't fade out, but the books came harder and harder to get, and these fetch a very lovely price on eBay if you're lucky enough to have one of the originals. Delta Green was published by Pagan Publishing, who, in my opinion, wrote some of the most cutting-edge, in some ways disturbing, but really, really good stuff for Call of Cthulhu. Some of the best stuff Call of Cthulhu has ever gotten, in my opinion. The call, um, Delta Green's entire purpose was to answer the sort of question of why in the heck are you really investigating all these creepy occurrences anyway? Because let's face it, if you've ever played Call of Cthulhu, especially more than one adventure, you end up asking yourself that, why am I leaving my cushy university job to tramps around the jungles of South America looking for a critter that's probably just going to eat my face off anyway? And it's a fair question. That, you, that issue is dealt with in Delta Green. What it does is it takes the modern day it takes, although honestly it's kind of locked in the 90s, but it takes modern day, it takes the Cthulhu mythos, and it updates the Cthulhu mythos to the modern day in a very sensible fashion. So certain forces that were at work in the 20s, which is when Cthulhu had his heyday, aren't around as much anymore. Some of the older forces that were always there but weren't quite as foreground are now much more forward. Some aren't even heard from anymore. There are new threats to deal with. And one thing that Pagan has always done is that they are very smart with their modern setting. They're very smart with how cultists and how the cults update themselves. Rarely do you see just a screaming insane cult member anymore. Now they're members of biotech firms. Now they're the CEOs of corporations, and they're much more dangerous to deal with. And, and the other thing that Delta Green has done is that it brings in a lot of the conspiracy theories of the 90s and really blends them in nicely. A lot of people have described this as X-Files, the role-playing game. I don't think that's fair because X-Files never really had the cohesive focus and really grim nihilism that Delta Green does. Now, essentially, you are part of an illegal conspiracy, you're Delta Green, you're part of an illegal conspiracy operating from behind a lot of fronts in the U.S. government, your FBI, your CIA, your NSA, your CDCP, you're all of these different government agencies, and your entire purpose is you investigate and shut down the mythos. It sort of encourages a certain amount of uh, burn it out now and worry about what it was later, point of view. It's very grim in that it's very easy to get caught, get disowned, get turned over, and they can't do much to help you, and you know it. It really also brings into focus the danger of, of fighting the mythos now. It uses modern conspiracy theory. There are the Greys. There's Majestic 12. There is, and then th that's sort of the main focus of the campaign. But then there's a lot of other things going on. There are the Nazis that are still stomping around in South America who now have, who Nazis were always involved in the occult. Now they really are. There are, there's the occult elite that runs America's great cities. There's Saucer Watch, a small um, organization that investigates UFO sightings that can either be a friend or enemy. This is the main book, and it is fantastic on its own. There was one principal supplement published, and it was Delta Green Countdown. Now, this is another mammoth tome to deal with here, but this really blows the lid off of the Delta Green universe because it expands it internationally. You now have things to deal with in England, in Russia. It brings into focus a lot of things that are going on even within our own country. There are, there's, there's a new cult that's forming that you have to deal with. There is some of the critters living under our major cities, how they have evolved over the years. It has some of the best scenes, some of the best adventures out there. It is very grim, though. And for a long time, Delta Green has not been around for people to get their hands on, unless you have a lot of money and are very patient on eBay. They have recently, it has recently been republished, including some D Call of Cthulhu D20 stats that you can get your hands on. Now, this book is pretty much out there and still easy to get. This is the rare one. But you can get this now with the exact same cover, no updating, still in the 90s, with cross-statted, with basic role-playing, which is the standard Call of Cthulhu engine and the D20 system. There's also the, it's, there's also the 
chat books, which are some smaller books that they published that you can now, they're about to put out later on this year, 2007, to get your hands on. Some of Delta Green is also living on in the new version of the One Roll engine, Nemesis. It's the dark ORE. It's the same engine that runs Godlike and Wild Talents. It's a, we'll be reviewing that at a later time. It's a much grimmer point of view, but it's the same basic idea. The bottom line between Delta Green is you are all that stands between humanity and its extinction. And you know what? You're not going to be thanked for it. You're going to be knocked around by your friends, your family, and the monsters. The point of this game is standing up and doing what's right, no matter the consequence. Folks, get your hands on this if you like a grim conspiracy type of setting. This, however, is deeply steeped in the Cthulhu mythos, and it is next to impossible to extract from it. If you want a more general conspiracy game, there are other games out there that you should consider. This is, if you like conspiracies and you like the Cthulhu mythos, it makes a great blend. If you have any questions or comments, games you'd like to see us review, your game you'd like to see us review, please feel free to contact us at knwiggle at yahoo.com. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good night and good gaming.